What's up guys? My name is Jayana. Thanks for joining us for Kid Point Online. This month we are talking about Christmas, celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. In Luke 2, we see how God's greatest gift finally arrived. In the humblest of locations, Jesus, the King of Kings, was born and placed in a manger to sleep. The Savior of the world had been born. God's people had waited for so long for God to send the Savior. And when Jesus was born, God's promises came true. God sent Jesus to make a way for us to be with God forever. And that is the greatest gift we could ever receive. Bottom line, Jesus is the Savior of the world. Before we jump into our story, it's time to worship. Everyone stand up to your feet and let's get ready to praise Jesus. Around it, your love is everywhere, and I'm surrounded. It's got me singing, it's got me shouting, and now I want to tell the world about it. Cause now I am alive, yeah, you opened up my eyes. Everywhere I look, I see.
I'm Lucy. And I'm Nico. And every day is a reason to celebrate. And today is Christmas, Christmas Eve! Eve! Christmas Eve is the big day before the biggest day, which is... Christmas! That's right. And we have a ton of things that we have to do in preparation for the biggest day and things we haven't even started. Okay. What do we have left to do? Okay, so we still have to put the lights on the tree, wrap yeah. up some presents, mm -hmm. and then go Christmas caroling. Mm -hmm. All right. I got it. Let's go. ready for Christmas. I think we are forgetting one last thing. Oh yeah! It's Bible, Bible time, time with Jayana! Hey guys! As we celebrate Christmas Eve, we are going to look at the account of Jesus' birth in the book of Luke. Luke 2, 1 through 6 says, In those days, Caesar Augustus made a law. It required that a list be made of everyone in the whole Roman world. It was the first time a list was made of the people while Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone went to their own town to be listed. So Joseph went also. He went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea. That is where Bethlehem, the town of David, was. Joseph went there because he belonged to the family line of David. He went there with Mary to be listed. Mary was engaged to him, and she was expecting a baby. While Joseph and Mary were there, the time came for the child to be born. She gave birth to her first baby. It was a boy. She wrapped him in large strips of cloth, then she placed him in a manger. That's because there was no guest room where they could stay. God's people had been waiting centuries for the promised Savior to arrive. They were expecting God to send them a Savior, but no one was expecting Him to be this little baby. The reason why we needed a Savior was because of this thing called sin. Sin is anything we do that goes against what God says. The reason why sin is such a big deal is because sin separates us from God. So when we break God's rules, we are separated from Him. But God loves us so much, He didn't want us to stay separated. So God sent His Son Jesus to this world as a baby. Jesus would grow up and live a perfect, sinless life. Jesus grew up and taught people about God, His Father. He taught about how God loves us and how we need to love each other also. The ultimate reason that Jesus was born was to pay the price of our sins. Jesus never sinned. And since He's God, He could give His perfect life as a payment for an infinite amount of sins. The cost of sin is death. So Jesus died on the cross to pay for our sins. He took the punishment for all of our sins on the cross for you and for me. 
every single sin was poured out on him. Jesus' death on the cross isn't the end of the story though. After Jesus died, he was buried in a tomb. But then the most amazing thing happened. He rose from the dead and came back to life. Once Jesus rose from the dead, he completely defeated sin and made a way for us to have new life and a relationship with him that will last forever. When we decide to make Jesus the Lord of our life and follow him, the stains of sin no longer can make a mess of our life. God fills us with his Holy Spirit to help us live more like Jesus. When we decide to follow Jesus, we can be a part of God's family again. You see, we don't celebrate Christmas only because it's Jesus's birthday. We celebrate because of what Jesus's birth means. Just like Christmas Eve is the day before the big day, which is Christmas, Jesus's birth was the event before the biggest event in history, which was when he would eventually die for us and come back to life three days later. Don't get me wrong, the birth of Jesus was a huge event, but the reason why it's such a big deal is because it meant that one day his birth would lead to him saving us from our sins, just as God had promised. None of this would have ever happened if Jesus hadn't been born. This is why we celebrate Christmas, because Jesus is the savior of the world. And, and that's, that's something, something to celebrate. celebrate. Thanks, Jayana. You know, I've never thought of Christmas like that. Usually we just talk about Jesus' birth, but his birth affected the rest of his life and his life affected the rest of the world. Yeah, that's right. And Jesus didn't stay a baby. He grew up to fulfill God's plan and save us from our sins. His birth was the big day before the biggest day. And that's why our bottom line today is Jesus is the savior of the world. Think about this question. Now you know that Jesus is the savior of the world. How can you share this good news with others? And remember, God loves you, God has a plan for you, and God is bigger than any need. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Bye! Bye. Alright, I... <laughs> Lucy! Oh my gosh! I think we're finally ready for Christmas! Uh, yeah! <laughs>